imagine if you could set up 100 cold email mailboxes in less than 10 minutes. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the future of cold email, mailbox automation. Now setting up cold email infrastructure is beginner friendly. No more complicated DNS records, no more worrying about DKIM or DMARC or custom tracking domains, and no more worrying if you set everything up perfectly. Now you can create cold email mailboxes and configure them in minutes, and you're gonna be paying less than if you were to set it up yourself using Google or Microsoft. So first, let me try and explain how this technology works so that you can understand the pros and cons in using mailbox automation for your cold email campaigns. Then I'm gonna give you my honest advice on whether or not you should consider using this in building your lead generation machine. Mailbox automation uses code to launch mini virtual servers, probably using Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure. You can then purchase domains or even transfer in your existing domains domains to these servers. And you can even use AI to generate domain names that are available and similar to your domain name and purchase them all with a click of a button. Now using mailbox automation, you could do five mailboxes per domain and the automation will even help you generate male or female names to use with those mailboxes. Now, once you've selected the names, it will set up those mailboxes and configure all of the DNS records, the email domain forwarding, and even add a custom tracking domain. This whole process takes only a few minutes and costs less than $3 per mailbox. This is half of what Google and Microsoft charge. Now let me share my screen and walk you through just how easy it is to set this up. But you need to stay until the end because there's some major downsides that you need to know about. All right, the tool I'm gonna to be showing you is called mailforge.ai. They built a system to set up mailbox automation for you and they made it as easy as possible. There is nobody else on the market doing this right now. So once you jump inside of Mailforge, you'll see a couple of things here. On the left, domains and mailboxes. This is really the the only options that you have, purchasing domains and setting up mailboxes. How many active domains you have, how many mailbox slots you have, and how many active mailboxes you have. You can also create different workspaces. I'm in a brand new one right now and title them whatever you want. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is create new domains. Now your cold email domain should be similar enough to your primary domain, where if somebody sees it coming from you and they go to it and it's forwarded to your actual domain, they don't really know the difference. So you can also transfer in your domains by contacting them and having those domains transferred in, but honestly, it's easier just to create them. So this creation process is so, so easy. So they have an AI function where you can auto generate domains. So say I wanna generate 50 domains that are similar to otterpr.com, my PR agency. This AI tool will actually find similar domains close enough to otterpr.com and available, have not been purchased yet. All right, so within about a minute, it generated all of these domains that are similar and it will tell me whether or not they are available or not. So you don't have to search for your similar domains one by one to see if those domains are available or not. Now, if you want them, all you have to do is add them to your cart and then purchase those domains right here. So the domains cost pretty much the same wherever you buy them. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to purchase one domain. I found eleadgenj.com, which is available and it's $13. So about the same as every other domain purchaser. Let's go ahead and save and continue. So domain forwarding, this is where you actually forward that domain to another domain. So in my case, my primary domain is leadgenj.com. So if somebody gets an email from at eleadgenj.com and they put that into the browser, it will forward them here. A DMARC email is also where you're going to get DMARC reports. If you don't know what a DMARC report is, don't worry about it, watch the delivery video. Let's go ahead and continue. So from here, you're just going to have to attach some contact information for the domain. Every domain register does this. They need to know about you so that they can register that domain to you. Now all you have to do is continue and purchase and voila, those domains are going to be set up and they're going to show up in your acquired domains list. You'll also be able to see how many mailboxes you have attached to each of your domains. Now that we've got some domains, let's think about setting up some mailboxes for these domains. So up top, you'll see number of mailbox slots, zero of 10. I did purchase 10 mailbox slots. You're gonna to need to purchase those as well. So hit that plus button and take a look at some of the pricing here. So. You can get them in packs of 10, and 10 is $30 per month, which is $3 per month per email. That is half the price of Google and Microsoft. 
And as you can see, they set it up automatically, configure all the DKIM and DMARC records, forward it automatically, put the custom tracking domain in, and then give you a file that's easy to upload. So let's go ahead and set up some of these mailboxes. So now that I've got the slots, let's come into the mailboxes tab on the left and let's create some mailboxes. So again, they've got an AI that will help auto generate mailboxes for me. So let's go ahead and use this tool. Let's do this for all of the mailboxes. We're gonna create three mailboxes per one domain. And each of these mailboxes is going to send 30 emails per day for a total of 90 emails per day per domain. So let's set up three mailboxes per domain. That'll give me nine. Now you can select my names or random male and female names or random female or random male. So if you've got a good, strong founder name, Mike, Jason, Luke, something that's familiar when you're reaching out to business contacts, go ahead and use it. If you have a name that you think might deter people from opening and responding to your cold email, and you know who I'm talking to, uh, you might want to consider using some more generic female names. So let's go ahead and click next. And then it's going to auto generate a signature for me as well. So you can see the first and last name variable will be replaced in the signature. So I'm going to go ahead and generate these mailboxes now. So you can see it generated these nine mailboxes with my name and all all of the different mailboxes are J, J. Feldman, JF, so it knows exactly what to do in this case. This is exactly what I would have done by hand. So let's go ahead and create those mailboxes by clicking this button up top. Now, the first time that I saw this, I didn't believe it, but within seconds, all of these mailboxes that I just set up are active. Now you can access the email if you ever need to through this web server. And all of the logins for this are going to be on that export file. But honestly, you'll never need to go into that inbox because it's already forwarding to your primary email address. All right, so now the magic happens. Now that we've got all these set up, we're gonna go ahead and export these nine mailboxes now. So export to Salesforge, they have a cold email sending tool that directly integrates with this. Honestly, I don't use it. It is not there yet. It is not on the same level, not even in the same playing field as instantly, but maybe it will be at some point. So I'm gonna go ahead and export to other. And it's got the two main options here, smart lead and instantly. If you watch this channel, you know I am an instantly fanboy. So it's gonna give you a file and that file is going to be compatible with Instantly's import settings. Now what's amazing about this file is that it already has the warmup settings configured with daily limits, warmup limits, and warmup increments. Absolutely amazing job by the MailForge team. Now let's go ahead into my Instantly account and add some new mailboxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it by IMAP, SMTP, and then let's bulk import from that CSV file. Now let's grab that CSV file that we just downloaded. Make sure that you select all of these and make sure that they are correct. Now, one thing to note here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your warm up increment is set to under five. Instantly had a recent update and MailForge has not caught on yet, so they usually set the default to five. It needs to be under five. So let's go ahead and upload. It's going to come down here and test all these SMTP connections, make sure that they're valid and one by one, verify them. So you can see they are all working seamlessly right now. And if you did want to log into this webmail, go ahead and check the IMAP username and password from that export file. And you can just plug that in here. And now you can access your inbox and outbox and configure things however you see fit. If you're having issues with forwarding, you can go ahead and configure that all of that here. All right, so instantly is all done. All of these are connected successfully. Let's go back to accounts and make sure that they are configured correctly. All right, and just like that, we've got a full cold email infrastructure imported into instantly. And it took me as much time as you just saw. All of it for $3 per mailbox. So it seems too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to share with you some of the downsides to using mailbox automation to set up your cold email infrastructure. Now, this might seem tempting because it's super simple. It takes a few clicks of a button. It's going to save you some money. Why wouldn't you use this? What are the downsides? Well, let me tell you, they are real. All the pluses you just saw, the pros, we just went through all of them. It's cheaper. It's faster. You don't have to learn any technical stuff. There's no DNS record, but there are equivalent downsides. So the biggest downside, this is what everybody needs to keep in mind before reaching for this. These are private server mailboxes from IP addresses that were just created for this purpose. There is no reputation for those IP addresses. They're brand new and they don't have any trust score. Now, the reason that top cold emailers like myself use Gmail and they use Microsoft is because those servers are highly trusted. 
They've got the most established trust, so they have the highest chance of reaching the inbox and the hardest chance of being blacklisted or ending up in spam. That's not to say that these IP addresses won't work, that these mailboxes won't work. We use this for a decent amount of our cold email, and we are highly successful with it. But the reason it works so well for us is one, we warm these emails much longer, and two, we're very good at cold email. We know exactly who we're cold emailing. We know what emails to send so that we don't get marked as spam and that we can get lots of really good replies. If you're new to cold email and people are marking your emails as spam, it's gonna be much easier to send your domains and your emails to the blacklist if you're using one of these fresh IPs versus if you're using Google and Microsoft because those are much more forgiving than these private server IP addresses are. So what do I suggest that you do? I suggest that you do learn the technical setup with Google and Microsoft, or you work with a vendor to set those things up for you. Pay them some money so that you have a more forgiving inbox. And then get better at cold email. Once you've got consistent 70, 80% open rates, once you've got consistent 5, 10% reply rates, and your spam threshold is very high, no one is marking you as spam, then it might be a good idea to turn to something like MailForge to set up these mailboxes for you quickly, automatically, and save a few dollars while you're doing it. So do me a favor and work on your cold email. Watch all my videos. Watch all of the tactics to get really good reply rates. Watch all the tactics to send really good preview text and get really good open rates. And to do that, I have a free course in school. There's like a hundred videos in there all about cold email strategy, different ways to do subject lines and first lines, different calls to actions that you can use, ways to present a cold email to the right person. It's actually gonna get them to open and open up a conversation with those people. If you want your mailboxes to last more than a few days, you need to learn how to send good cold emails that don't get marked as spam. So head into my free course. It's gonna be linked down below. I also have 8 million leads that you can start with so you can save a few bucks on lead costs. Just download those, make sure you filter them correctly, make sure you clean them, and start sending some cold emails and start practicing today. If you found this valuable, please click the thumbs up. If you wanna try MailForge, the link is going to be right down in the description. I definitely recommend going and checking it out and get in my course. Watch my free videos, you'll love it.